So you guys know Alex. Say hello to the video people. Hello, yeah. Internet. So we're at Great Falls, Maryland. Maryland side, not the Virginia side. And it is gorgeous. We went off trail. Just a little bit. Just just a little bit. It's really no. It's really pretty. Taking some pictures too. Oh, it's so hard to die. Hey guys, it's me, Jessica, and today I'm doing the Playing With Your Emotions book tag. I have not done a book tag in a while. I don't think. Whatever, but we're going to be doing this Playing With Your Emotion book tag. And, and so I have a stack of books here that have made me feel some things, and I'm going to share those with you guys. I know I'm wearing a lot of makeup today, and I don't normally wear a lot of makeup, but you know, whatever. Um, so let's just get, get started with this tag. So the first emotion is happy, a book basically that made you happy, and I will always pick this book, always and forever. This book has made me, I was probably like the happiest I've ever been in my life so far and also this book just made me incre incredibly happy the whole way through and that is Skullduggery Pleasant Mortal Coil by Derek Landy. This is the fifth book in the Skullduggery Pleasant series. If you don't know this is my favorite book ever and I love it so much and it's made me just so happy in my life. So I am of course picking this book. A lot of books that are behind me have made me happy. Obviously Illuminae's made me happy and like the Legend Trilogy has made me happy and a lot of the um and like the Luna Chronicles has made me happy. But the Skull Every Pleasant series and this book in particular has made me incredibly happy. So so the next emotion is sad, a book that made me sad. Obviously I'm gonna pick this book I'm gonna pick this book. This is kind of a recent book that made me sad, but Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This book just gives you so much false hope and like you know it's not gonna go at, you know it's not gonna end well. You know it's not gonna end well, but like you just you can't stop. You can't stop and it's it's ridiculous. So this book definitely made me sad because it's just like, oh, I love these characters, but everything is going to go wrong for them. The next emotion is anger, and that is obviously a book that made me angry, and I do not own books that frustrate me or make me angry. I mean, there are some books that I have that frustrate me, but that's just because they're books in a series, but if it's like one book that I just hate so much, I will not keep it. And I have one book, there is actually, there is two books that made me incredibly angry, and uh, the one I'm going to pick is the one that makes me the most angry, and that is Catcher in the Rye. I hate that book so much. I hate it and I just, no, 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 no. One of my friends loves that book and I'm just like, how? How do you love that book? Please explain it to me. If anyone ever says the word phony, I will push them in the face. So the next emotion, the next emotion is nostalgia. So a book that is nostalgic for me and actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain this. But The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan makes me very nostalgic. So I picked this book and not like The Lightning Thief or anything like that, just because I have many memories attached to this book in particular, especially since I read this book on the plane over to Germany and while I was in Germany I would wake up actually kind of really early, sit on the couch in the like living room of this apartment we were staying in for a little while and I would read this book. So yeah, this, this one just has a lot more memories for me. Next book is Scared, so a book that made me scared, and for this I picked um, Inferno by Dan Brown. Why did I pick Inferno? Because it has to do with like overpopulation and kind of like current issues, um, especially with like the environment and things like that, and it makes me a little scared and a, a little nervous about what the future is going to lo be looking like, not politically, but just kind of like with like population and the planet type. It makes me scared in that kind of sense of like, is there anything we can do to prevent this without going too drastic as Inferno does. The next book is Surprise. So a book that surprised me. And I'm gonna go with Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. Yeah, you saw Illuminae up here, but but it's, it's Gemina this time. And this book really definitely surprised me, especially at the end where it just, it completely blew my mind. I was sitting in the car, I was on my way to uh, Florida, I think, and I was just sitting in the car, and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh 
oh my gosh, like this blew my mind. And my family's like, okay, we get it, shut up. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This book is so good. This series is so good. I just, I want to read these books. Like, so the next book is Disappointed. And I, all right, I'm gonna bring this book out and then I'm gonna clarify some things. So the book I chose is A Court of Wings and Ruin. Now the book didn't disappoint me, but the ending disappointed me, especially with the point, spoiler alert, where the fake out Reese death. That just made me very upset. I mean, there, like, that just, it seemed uncalled for, and it just seemed like a last minute, like, oh, I have to put some, like, scary thing in the end. And you didn't have to. Like, you could have just had it where, like, everything was okay in the end. Like, there was this huge, big thing. It, it made it feel like the people that had died, or, like, the people that, like, were, that did die, they, like, death doesn't mean anything in this series. Like, I mean, I wish, it just, it irritated me. It felt like the, the ending just didn't need to be there. It could have been reworked. It could have been written, rewritten to where it was, it was very different. And that's all I have to say. And I mean, it, even if you put the fake out Reese death in there, if that death was still in there, I mean, at least have it to where he came back to life differently than when Feyre did. Like, that is just, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous and it made me very upset. I mean, like, there are different ways to shock the audience with something. And it's, like, it was, it was uncalled for and it disappointed me that I felt like the series was a little more mature to, than to have this kind of fake out death. So I, I was disappointed there. Um, I really did love the book though. I just, I think in my review, I talked about how I was very unhappy with how that was. But anyway, moving on. The next emotion is distress. So a book that distresses me. This book is also by Sarah J. Mass, and if you can't tell from, from what's missing right here, it's Empire of Storms. This book distresses me so much, especially the ending, because I have no book I have no idea what's going to be happening next. I have I can't I literally I I will theorize all I want but I know it's it's useless. I know it's useless and I can't, I can't even, I can't, I can't. I'm like so freaking nervous for the next book and I, I do have Tower of Dawn. Um, I do have Tower of Dawn. Have I read it yet? No, I have not read it yet. Um, I just finished a book um, and it's been a month since I've been able to finish a book. All right, so the next emotion and the last emotion is confused. A book that made me confused is The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkins. Now, why did this confuse me? Because there are just some things that are explained kind of confusingly, confusingly, is that a word? in the climax section and I think that's why this book was pushed back so much because like her maybe Michelle Hudkins editor was like look this ending doesn't really make sense like you need to kind of explain it in a different way but it just it felt really weird because like it's supposed to be like Mara's ability um kind of takes like overpowers Noah's ability so he's not gonna be able to heal himself and I'm like that's never that's not even like um, alluded to or shown in the books at all and it like there are some things in the book that the, the whole series that confused me book one doesn't really confuse me that much but um there are a couple of things in book two that confuse me and especially here in book three and I like this whole society thing it's like I, this whole like secret society or like society of people that have these like genes that are activated that give them powers like it's not really explained very well and we don't see a lot of them like we only see one and then there are the memories of Mara's grandmother and it's very just so, like, there's so many questions I have. If I ever meet Michelle Hodkins, I will be asking all of them 
uh, in a matter of seconds, I will. Uh, so this book, this series definitely confuses me. I'm excited to see if those, if my questions get answered in the Shaw Confession series that she's coming out with and the first book comes out next month so I'm excited for that. Oh my gosh, this will be great. But anyway, I, it, just, it confuses me and that's all I'm going to talk about. Yeah, so that was the end of playing with your emotions tag and I'm going to, I guess, tag some people. So, Grace, you're tagged. Of course you're tagged. Um, Annika, I know you started doing some filming. I don't know if you've posted anything yet, but you are tagged. Sophia, if you ever get back on YouTube, you're tagged as well. And pretty much that's, that's it. Yeah, there we go. So if you like this video, please give it a like.